Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this basic little component. We're going to be working off of this sketch over here. So we can see we've got an isometric view and then a couple of um, we've got a right view, front view and top view. So we're going to be using these to draw this. So stick around and see how you go. So we're going to be working off of a technical drawing. If we look there, there's the isometric view. Um, the side view, front view, top view. And we're going to be, we're going to start by drawing from this top view. So we've got that plate and then we'll extrude it to the 15 millimeters. So I'll start by drawing a rectangle that's 108 millimeters by 44 millimeters. So we'll go create sketch, select the top plane, I want a two point rectangle and 44, if I press tab, we'll go to the other measurement, 105, I think that is correct. My short term memory isn't great sometimes, so there we are, 44, oh, 108, not 105. So I'll just double click on that and change that to 108. So now we've got that basic part, but we've got a couple of radiuses in here that we need to sort out. So that's a 44 millimeter diameter circle. So we'll find that center point and draw that circle. Or what we can do is use a filler tool over there and over there. And the radius is 22 because that's half of 44. And there we've got that little shape over there. I'm going to repeat that same step with a two point rectangle at 18 and then this will be 18 plus half of 18, half of 18. So that's 18 times 2. So I can go rectangle, I'll just kind of do it anywhere here for now. So dimension this, I push D. 18 millimeters and this one I'll just go 18 times 2 because we can use formula here. so 18 times 2 36 but now we need to get that centered I can see that the center of that uh, circle would be that 68 millimeters and it is centered along there so I'm gonna do these fillets in select all of these and we're going to make them half of 18 so that's 9 and that one didn't do it so let's just get that again 9 there we go so I'm going to draw a construction line I just pushed L there construction between these two points so that I can dimension it. So now we've got this little construction line in there and I can see that that is 44. So I want that half to center this, it'll be half of 44, which is 22. Dimension to there, 22. Now this is centered top to bottom. And then we said this was 68 millimeters from that end to the start of that circle. So, I can push D again, select that point in this line, and that is a 68. So now we've got that section of the drawing in the correct place. So now we've got these, uh, these circles and this general shape in the correct place. I'm just going to do two, uh, two point rectangles, one over there, one over there, and we'll extrude those up as well. So I can see that's 11 millimeters by 48. So I'll go rectangle, find the center corner. Oh, we're still in construction. Change the line type to normal. 11, if I push tab, 48. And I'll repeat that step on the other one. Drag it up, 11, tab, 48. 
and now we've got this whole um, drawing like we need it. Now we just need to check how high it is. So this flat part comes up 15 millimeters, and then those rectangles will go up 61 millimeters. So I'll start with the rectangles, extrude, get an isometric view here, let's drag that 61. So now we can see where the, those are. Let's turn our sketch off, I'll turn it back on, extrude the section, that's going to go up to 15, and let's just make sure it's got the whole thing, yes. So 15 millimeters, I'm going to say join, so it's the same body. So we'll see over here, we've only got one body. We can turn off the sketch now. So we're getting there. We still need to create that, that arc there and that center hole. So for this, it's a 48 millimeter um, radius and that's 24. There's a couple of ways we can do it, but I'm going to do it by drawing a sketch on this side over here. So create a sketch and I will say center diameter circle. Just double check that 48. That's that 48. So I'll find the midpoint first. Draw a construction line. Going down. You see it it snapped onto the center point there, 48, so half of 48 is uh, 24. So this should be our center point. Let's just measure it from this end to this end, 24, yes. So now I can do my center diameter circle from here. If it touches the side there, we know we're good. I'm gonna push T just to trim this bottom section. I'm going to extrude that out, so P, make sure I have those lines, because we need a closed um, section, so we can see that we've got two closed sections. And then I'll draw another center diameter circle over here. This one's 24. Now we can extrude that right the way through. So if I go to extrude, and I select these, and I drag it that way, we can see it's passing through the whole thing. And here we go. That's the same component we have over there. So that's just a, a little basic component that you can have a go at. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, you can leave a message in the comments or you can get in touch with me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. My email is in the description. And the technical drawing for this, this drawing over here, will be uploaded to a Google Drive where you can access it. I will put the link in the description as well. Until next time, bye.